Firstly, the Minster, the first building that Archbishop John Whitgift would have become acquainted with and would have been the parish church, the Church of St John the Baptist, at the bottom of Crown Hill. It would have been a prominent landmark in the town. Today it is known as Croydon Minster, given the title on the 29th of May 2011. It has a history stretching back over a thousand years, the earliest recorded date being 1347, though sadly the church suffered a devastating fire in 1867, was rebuilt. The tomb of Archbishop John Whitgift restored to its former glory. We had Old Palace. Alongside the church is Old Palace School, once a Croydon Manor House, known to John Whitgift as Croydon, just 10 miles from Lambeth Palace. There he would have entertained and rested from the rigours of church and state. Croydon has changed considerably since John Wickett's time. Very few buildings survive in the years of expansion and wartime bombing, except of course the Hospital of the Holy Trinity, commonly known as the Arms Houses or Wickett Arms Houses. There's been changes to, to the re-roofing after the Blitz and later the V-bombs, the modernisation of the bedsits, the repair of the windows. It would not appear too different from when he stayed at Croydon and joined the brothers and sisters in the common room for lunch or dinner or attended business meetings in the audience chamber. A lot of the timber is still in evidence. Of course, Surrey Street, though not a landmark as such, it does have a significant history. Surrey Street Market has been trading since 1276, receiving a royal charter for a weekly market, a lot different to today, selling everything from corn to cattle meats to vegetables. Might John Wickett have passed through? It's quite possible. 